So the first key that activates your spiritual sensitivity is how you eat. Mm -hmm. Amen. So true. Amen. Most of your spiritual issues is because of how you eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody didn't hear what I said. Amen. No. Hello. Hello. One of the biggest reasons why so many are not spiritually sensitive is your diet. It's true. The point of fasting is not really starving yourself. But the point of fasting is able to have self-control of your will and your body. That is really the key to fasting. Mm. And that is what fasting promotes. It doesn't not only, okay, when I starve, when I fast and pray, God answers me. No. Fasting breaks the flesh for your spirit to come forward. But apart from bringing your spirit forward, the main thing about fasting is it trains you to control your physical body. Mm. I'll give you an example. There is a day I was very sleepy, very sleepy, very tired. God told me, wake up, go down to your prayer room and pray. So I didn't know what was wrong. Got in there, prayed for a little bit. And I was like, okay, I'll go and rest. I said, no, keep praying. Mm -hmm. Then I got deep into prayer. I forgot that I was tired because now I was concerned. Mm -hmm. After two hours later, three hours, God reminded me, see, you're not tired. I said, no. I said, okay, I just wanted you to be able to control. Mm, that's good, that's good. That is good. So he didn't really care for me praying. He just wanted me to be able to, if I need to pray, even if I'm tired, I can pray. I can override my flesh to carry out his will. Control, control your flesh. So many of you, your stomach controls you. Yes. If you cannot control your stomach, how can you control the devil? Ooh, that's good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> ah, every spirit, ah, I bind you. Ah. Yeah. Uh. But your stomach is ruling you. Yeah. Yeah. It's horrible. You are not in control of you. How will you be in control of situations outside of you? That's right. right. That's good. Hello? Hello. Hello. I feel like people are upset. Don't be angry with me. <laughs> I felt that stone. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, God is not against you eating anything. He said everything must is good for food. Right. If you receive it with thanksgiving, you're fine. But the issue is this now. Is your stomach controlling you or is your will controlling your life? What proves that you are ruling by your spirit is that your spiritual needs overwrite your physical needs. Right. You see, when Jesus was in the wilderness, the devil was testing his will. Exactly. Based on the physical weaknesses that Jesus was going through at that moment. Jesus had not eaten after 40 days. After he finished his fasting is when the devil came. Yeah. Amen. You're the son of God, right? Mm -hmm. just, just turn this rock into bread. Remember what the devil asked Jesus to do was not wrong. Mm -hmm. Jesus was hungry. Mm -hmm. Jesus wanted to eat. Mm -hmm. Jesus was going to eat. But Jesus was going to eat and Jesus was hungry. But Satan offered him a solution that was fast that Jesus could do without the suggestion of the devil. But immediately the devil brought that up. Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by, by every word that comes from God. Immediately you don't hear Jesus hungering again. Because he was able to shift his attention Jesus, from the right. physical right. world into right. the spiritual right. world. Exactly. And immediately being able to sustain his physical body. That's good, that's good. Yes. Where is your spiritual awareness? Mm, good question. You see, like for me, I do Muay Thai, I do mixed martial arts. Right. 
and and uh, and uh, 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 we call him crew or we call him sensei or teacher. Uh, our our coach, his name is uh, Julio. Julio Trana. He's trained some of the best striking uh, strikers and fighters in the world, and still does at the highest level. One thing that he told me, he always told me, your mind quits before your body. So when your mind feels like it's quitting, your body's not done yet. Keep pushing. Oh, Therefore, good. you extend right. you extend your physical capabilities. Yes. So initially, what he was telling me is that you are thinking that you are done because of what you're looking at. Mm. But your body can still keep going. That's good. If you allow your will to overlook your present suffering and to see what you're gaining, you will push further. Have you ever seen undisciplined people be successful? Never. No. You would never see that. Why? Because they cannot control themselves. How can they control the world? Mm, that's good. You cannot organize your own bedroom. But you're ready for a mansion. <laughs> you cannot produce beyond what is inside of you. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So now think about it. Think about it. I want to activate my sixth sense. I want to awaken my spiritual nature. Mm. The first thing is my stomach cannot rule me. That's good. And I'm not Amen. saying starve yourself. Mm -mm. That's not the key. But learn to make your body do what you want it to do. Not your body telling you what it wants to do. Exactly. That's good. Your will says we need to be healthier, we need to run, we need to start exercising. Right. Your body says, man, I just love to chill. That's just too much of a hassle. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Notice there are two minds you're dealing with. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Yep. Wow. One will give you longer life, longevity. The other one will just make you be comfortable and before you know it, your body is broken down. Mm. It's true. You see, the body always loves easy things and easy way, uh, ways out. Yeah. Right. That is so true. Mm -hmm. The body loves comfort. Mm -hmm. What feels good, what is amazing, the body enjoys it. Yeah. Whatever will be amazing, whatever will be enjoyable, mm, the body is into it. But when it comes to developing your spiritual nature, your body will always be against it. Mm -hmm. It's true. The Bible says that whoever can rule over his own spirit, it means that whoever can take charge of his spirit and make his spirit do things to his body, yep. changes everything. Let me show how far that goes when now the Holy Spirit is in you. Mm. Elisha, was in his house. His servant, there was a man that came that needed healing, you all know the story. He told him, go dip yourself in the river seven times. Yep. And the man went and dipped himself seven times. When he came to give Elisha gifts, Elisha, Elisha rejected his gifts. But his, servants, his servant went behind the, the, you know, the scenes mm -hmm. and went to him and told him, hey, um, you know, you can give those gifts. Uh, you, you can pass, pass the seed, I'll get it to the prophet. But he was taking it for himself. Amen. Then Elijah, Elisha, when he got back in the house, Elisha told him, <laughs> is this the time to receive bribe? Is this the time to receive these things? When you are still talking to him at the chariots, don't you know that my spirit went with you? Ooh, that's good. So there is a dimension that God doesn't need to tell you anything anymore. You can investigate using your spirit. Right. Oh, wow. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So I can be here and I can go home, see what is happening at home and come back. Wow. I don't need to ask God, God, tell me what is happening in my home. Wow. I can go in spirit and come back and you will never know that I left. That's so good. But if you cannot rule over self, how can the Holy Spirit empower you to that level? To do that. Yeah. It will be impossible. Yeah. This is why it is not just important to fast, but to live a fasted life. How is it easy to live, how do you uh, live a fasted life? 
it means that you change your diet, how you eat. Mm -hmm. You start controlling your portions. You start now, okay, if I was eating seven meals a day, I'm going to cut it down because I won't die. Mm -hmm. You know, we have been taught to eat a lot mm -hmm. for energy, and that's not actually true. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually not actually the truth. You can eat twice a day and be more energetic than somebody who's eating seven times a day. Yeah. Yeah. You see, everybody is doing intermediate fasting now. Intermediate fasting has been, has been there for generations, right. for thousands of years. Yeah. But now everybody, it's the new health thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's been there for thousands <laughs> of years. <laughs> there is no spiritual culture of spiritual people that love to eat. Doesn't it, even if they are on the wrong side of the aisle, even if they are on the wrong side of the aisle, if you pick Hindus, mm -hmm. yep, true. if you pick Buddhists, yep. and these people don't even know God Almighty, yeah, they no. don't. But all these people understand that food blocks you spiritually. Yeah, yep, it's true. Let me show you how deep it goes. The Bible says, out of their bellies shall flow, shall flow rivers of living waters. Your spirit is located in your belly. Amen. The dwelling place of your spirit is not up here, is not up here, it's in your heart. Amen. Because the belly is the core of man. Mm, that's good. So if your spirit's house is actually here, mm -hmm. in this area, But you're also adding, uh, 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 what's it called, uh, 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 potatoes, <laughs> carne asadas, <Right>. burritos, <laughs> cokes, cokes yeah. mm, you know, all those things without moderation. It means naturally mm -hmm. rivers of living waters cannot flow. They cannot. So, so now understand this uh, and, and understand this well. Begin by ruling over your stomach. Hello. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. Start ruling over your stomach. Yeah. The moment you do that, you are now already on the path. Wow. Because you don't see any spiritual activation in the scriptures without the stomach being out of the way. 